Now the city of or the Sioux Falls City Council is considering a unique rezoning proposal for about a 120 year old building just a few blocks away from the Cathedral Historic District. What the developer hopes to do with a commercial project in this historic residential community in tonight's Your Money Matters. Have driven by this property for years and years and I always thought, oh, well, that's such a neat little building. You know, I wonder what its history is. I wonder why, you know, why does it look like that? As the chair of Sioux Falls Board of Historic Preservation, Alex Hallback has a passion for historic buildings. Started doing more research and learned that the building was built as a grocery store um, in at around 1905, um, served as a grocery store until 1950. Like many homes in the neighborhood, this former grocery store on the corner of 9th and Grange was converted to apartments in the 1960s. It was in four apartments and had a slum landlord and he was going to take the porch off because it needed repairs. Just up the street, Mary Glensky and her family spent years getting this 1885 home back to its former glory. I think anyone who buys one of the, of, of the properties in the area uh, and a historic property and restores it is certainly appreciated, need to be commended, probably spent a lot of money. <laughs> That's exactly what Hallback intends to do with this unique piece of history. It'll probably be close to a million dollars will get put into this corner. Um, but it, you know, it's an investment not only in the building, it's an investment in this neighborhood. He plans to replace the crumbling brick facade and then begin transforming the building into a neighborhood coffee shop and restaurant with an office space on the second floor and adding a rooftop patio for coffee shop patrons to enjoy. I just wish there was a building like this in my neighborhood that that I could have a little local gathering place. So that's kind of what I envision this being um, again as a little taste of light commercial in the middle of a, you know, single family residential neighborhood and neighborhood gathering place. I think there are people who are looking forward to having a coffee place available again. Hallback hopes his investment in the neighborhood will help inspire more future improvements in this historic part of town. The city council will vote on the zoning changes over the next few weeks. If approved, Hallback expects construction to happen in early spring with the hopes of opening the coffee shop and restaurant by the end of May.